Hello friends, welcome to our channel where we are presenting lessons in mathematics. Alright? So in this lesson, which is lesson number 12, we continue dealing with the calculus, but to be more specific, we want to see how we can utilize the chain rule. Okay. Like I say in the other presentation, I think lesson number 11, we have a lot of methods of differentiating a function. But again, that depends on the kind of a function that you have been given. Now, we are saying, let's see how we can utilize the chain rule, alright? Now, we are saying, if y is equal to a u to the power a, is a function that we have, where u is a, um, is a function of x, alright? Uh, and a here together with a are constants. So, it means here we can have maybe a coefficient of this function, there we can have a power. Then, what are we saying? dy dx is equal to dy du multiplied by du dx. Alright? So you say dy uh, du multiplied by du dx. Simply means that the function that you have been given, like this one, you make it to be u. So you have to differentiate y with respect to u. Then, since it is u and it has x, you differentiate u with respect to x. Okay? Alright? Um, so let's see how we can work out this. I think this space for now can, can suffice. From here up to down here. Okay, so let's see how we can uh, deal with the, the first one. Okay, number one. We are saying you have y is equal to 4 then 2x minus 8 to the power 8. In this case, check. What is our a here? Our a is 4. Okay? What is our u? Our u is 2x minus 8. And what is our a? Our a is 8 here. So what you are saying is that you say, let t u be equal to what? 2x minus 8. This implies that the function now is the y is equal to 4 u to the power 8. Because we are saying this one is u, not all. Okay? So now, we have y is equal to 4 u to the power 8. Okay? So now, what we are going to do is to find dy dx. Differentiating y with respect to x, you need to find you differentiate y with respect to u. Y with respect to u. So you differentiate this one. Thereafter, you differentiate u with respect to x and multiply. Then the job is done. Okay? So we are saying dy du. What is my answer? Differentiating y with respect to u. So you will say the rule is 8 by this one. Alright? The power by the coefficient. So 8 by 4 is what? 30. 2. Okay. Then you have got u here. Then from the power here, you raise 1. So here you are going to have 2, 7. Okay. Then you go and deal with it. So, if you want, you can even substitute here in advance. Okay. Or we can go straight and get du dx. There's no problem. This is what we are going to have. So, du dx, what are we saying? We are differentiating u with respect to what? x. So, here it's like this power 1. So, 1 by, by 2, you have got 2x, 1 minus 1, oh sorry, because this will be 0. 1 minus 1 will be 0. Okay? So, we are going to have, we are going to have here a 0 here. Which will be what? what? x to the power 0 is 1. 1 by 2, we have got 2. Okay? So now, we are saying, for us to find this, <coughs> we need to say dy du by du dx. Okay? Let me just see this. Okay, so, dy dx, we say it should be dy du by du dx. Okay? What does this mean? 
we'll say, okay, what is our dy du? dy du is this one. So I'll say 32, all right? Then instead of putting u here, I'll say, what is my u? My u was uh, 2x minus 8. So I'll just put here 2x, okay? x minus 8. Oh, well, that is my u, isn't it? But this has power 7. Okay? So, the one that I've written here is dy du. Multiplied by du dx. What is my du dx? Is 2. So, I'll, I'll say by 2 here. So, dy dx is equal to, here you have multiplied. So, the 2 by 2, you have got 64. So, I've got 64 open the bracket, 2x minus 8 to the power 7. This one is the gradient g function of that. Okay. Then number 2. So, for number 2, so, for us to find the dy dx, we are saying, we'll say dy du by the du dx, right? So now, for this function, we'll say let u be equal to x squared minus 3x plus what? 1, alright? Meaning that uh, y now will be equal to this is in u, so say u to the power 4. Okay. So what we need to do now is to get dy du. You differentiate one with respect to u. So dy du is equal to, what is the coefficient here? It's a, it's a 1. So 4 by 1, 4. So 4 u to the power 4 minus 1, 3. Right? And you know, differentiate u with respect to x. So say du dx is equal to, alright, so this is the one. So you have got you have got 2x here. Because when you have one, you only have 2x minus what? 3. Why? Because here there is power 1. So you say 1 minus 1, there will be a 0. x to the power 0 will be 1. 1 by 3, you will get that. Okay, so now we are going to say my dy dx is equal to what? du, dy du, what is our dy du is this one? 4 and then du, but what is our u? Is it x squared minus 3x plus 1 to the power 3. You multiply this by what? 2x minus 3. Okay. Meaning that dy dx is equal to, you can multiply this, there's no problem. Okay. Or you can say 4, open bracket, 2x minus 3. Then you have x squared minus 3x plus 1 to the power 4. Okay. That is the fine, but you can still try to like distribute that so we have dy dx that is equal to 8x minus 12 all right open the bracket x to the power 2 minus 3x plus 1 to the power 3 and this is the the gradient function of the of that problem I hope uh, it's okay. That is how you apply the, the change rule. But again, if you want to do it without even writing this, you just say you multiply the power by the function, but you differentiate what is here inside. You multiply, you take it outside and you write that. That's all. Okay? So you multiply this by the coefficient, then this one here, differentiate what is here inside, you take it outside, then multiply. That's what we are, we are doing here. Okay. But if you have a challenge, you can take it 
like the ones we've done it here, step by step, not until you get uh, the answer here. So that's where we end for this presentation. But um, I would encourage you to subscribe to our channel. As you can see, we are really taking our time, we have invested so much energy into these things so that we make this work very easy for you. So if you have liked our presentation, please subscribe and share it with your friends. Okay, I can assure you, you get the maximum benefit from these videos. All right, thank you so much, and I'll be able to give you an exercise. Okay. Okay, so this is your exercise, but, but maybe just on B here, where there is Y is equal to 1 over x squared plus 3. You know that you can write this as Y is equal to x squared plus 3 to the power negative 1. So in this case, your power is the, uh, a negative 1. Is it okay? So you can try these questions. Thanks so much.